Welcome to the Rave TV. Good one. I had to. I, I couldn't. I couldn't miss that opportunity. Couldn't resist, huh? Couldn't resist. Anyways, I'm Alex. I'm here with one of my all-time favorite death metal bands, Cannibal Corpse. Rob and Paul, thank you for sitting down with us today. How are you yeah, guys doing? Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Uh, we're doing great today. Yeah. How are oh, you yeah. doing? Doing great, man. Awesome. Great doing day good. here in Milwaukee. You know, couldn't be happier. It's beautiful out, right? Oh yeah, beautiful day. Beautiful day. So now you are no strangers to the Mayhem tour. How does it feel to be back on the road with them? I think it's awesome, man. It's been a great tour so far. Obviously, we did the one in uh, 2009 with Marilyn Manson and Slayer and Behemoth and all that kind of stuff, and, and that was our first Mayhem Festival. So That was an intense year. That was an intense Black year. Black Dahlia as well. Right, exactly. Yeah, it, was a yeah. pretty, it was a brutal one. So uh, we're glad to be back. A little bit of a different lineup, I think, you know, when you look at it overall, but... Uh, but it's been it's been an awesome tour, you know. Um, great seeing some friends, body count. Uh, you know, we know the Vale of Maya guys a little bit, Trivium guys, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, but it's been a great tour, man. Yeah, and that's a great it's a great way for us to play to a different kind of crowd as opposed to us playing to our same crowd all the time. Well, like when you get some new people into the underground stuff. When you're on Sounds of the Underground, then too, you kind of stood out above a lot of those bands as well too. Yep, exactly the same example you know playing to a different uh demographic i guess you would call it of listeners that wouldn't normally listen to our kind of stuff so hopefully we're gaining some new fans by doing this absolutely now i was going uh, a little bit earlier before the interview i was checking all these past shows that you guys have played here and i believe this is the 14th time you guys have played the rave tonight and one that show that really stood out was back in 1993. You guys actually played with Body Count here uh, 21 years ago. You were telling me about that show earlier. Oh yeah, it was uh, yeah, it was a really crazy show because the I remember the lighting rig almost fell down onto the crowd because <laughs> I was taking pictures of it. I, I still have them somewhere. I need to dig them up. But um, I was telling Ernie C about that, like, yeah, I was taking a bunch of pictures of when that lighting rig fell down, and he was like, oh, yeah, I remember that, and and it was really cool meeting them guys. They were super cool, and, uh, yeah, but we played here many, many times, even downstairs in the smaller room as well. Yeah, in the basement, so I guess played down there before, too. Well, the rave room. Yeah, the rave yeah. as well. Yeah, I'm not sure if we ever played the basement. You know, I'm not. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't think, think we ever have. did the basement. Yeah. You did. You did with um, Skeleton Witch and 1349. All right. So yeah. I think that was probably like 2010 ish, wow, 2011. It's so hard to remember that, but yeah, I I, I believe you. Yeah. You know, but yeah. Wow. So now you guys also have a new album coming out this fall. Can you tell us about it? A skeletal domain. Yeah. Twelve new tracks of brutality. I heard sadistic embodiment and. I love it. It is heavy. It's great. Yeah, Pat wrote a, a good handful of songs on this one and did some amazing solos throughout the whole album. So I think it's like his shining moment, you know, like he really came up with some killer songs this time around. Now, after this is uh, your 13th album, right? Right. Yeah. Is it how do, how do you keep on finding inspiration for such gory topics and sadistic Lyrical. Uh, I think they just kind of come naturally for the most part these days. I mean, I yeah. think, you know, when we have to do it, we do it. You know, we come up with some cool titles or what have you, and we obviously got a concept maybe around those titles, albeit they, they might be concepts we've dealt with in the past. Yeah. We're Cannibal Corpse here, you know. We don't stray too far from uh, what we do, but, uh, you know, I think it just kind of comes from within. I know that's how I work, you know, when I'm, when I'm writing my lyrics, you know, and we're all doing it, Rob and, and Alex and myself, but uh, I just kind of get into, uh, you know, a zone in my own head, you know, pull, pull, pull the stuff out of my own, uh, own imagination. So I think this, this uh, you know, this point in our career, like I said, we've been around 25 years. It's, uh, you know, I, I think all the influences and everything have just been absorbed over the years. And when we have to write music and, you know, do our lyrics, uh, we just dig in and we, and we get it done, so. Yeah, now you just said you've been playing together for 25 years. And you guys are still clearly one of the best for death metals. Is there anybody that you see out like relatively newer death metal bands that you're like, those guys got it? Like, who really sticks out for you guys? Rob, you want to answer that one? <laughs> uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. I mean, our, our I mean, they're not really a new band, but the band that we probably freak out on mostly in the uh, within the last ten years is the band Eon. Yeah. From, from Sweden. 
Um, when yeah, we they were just here last right, year on Summer Slaughter. And we're going to end up taking them on our European run coming up in October, uh, October November. Um, they're not a new band anymore, I, I guess, at this point. But I remember when we first heard the Bleeding the False album. Yeah. And I, 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 we were all blown away by, you know, by them. And just, you know, wow, uh, a band that just be, seemed like the epitome of death metal at this point, you know. So I think we, we've been really trying to push to get them on tours. And, you know, I know we, you know, had a little bit of push getting them on Metal Blade even, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's how, uh, how, how excited we're, we are about this band. But, yeah, as for, for really new bands, it's, I don't know, it's so hard these days. There's so many bands, there's so many different genres. I mean, you, you, you can't even keep up with half of them half the time, so. Yeah, the death metal yeah. genre seemed to have kind of diversified and split almost since it really started in the 90s. You know, you have, like, tech death and death core. There's always, like, sub-genres of right, it. Right, right, right. So much going on, almost too much, I think. You know, but you know, saturation. But it's a good thing, though. I guess you know, extreme music's doing better than it ever has. You know, yeah. for a band like Whitechapel to uh, to sell sixteen thousand records in, in their first week. Yeah, I mean, they were just here uh, recently too, and that's amazing. That's their fan incredible. base, their fan base is huge now. So that's awesome. It's good for for us. It's good for extreme music, definitely. You know, so uh, yeah. Another Metal Blade band. That's right. Hey, I think Blade. I think they just know what's on well, top. There you we know? go. Maybe we got something here. Brian Slagle, you know. Yeah, maybe we can up. get you guys on tour together. That'd be <laughs> great to see <laughs> you again. It could happen. Well, they were on Mayhem in 2009 as yeah, well, weren't yeah. they? Well, there that, was a yeah. yeah There's yeah. a lot of Metal Blades right. on that. That was year. a big Metal Blade uh, contingency, I guess, that year. Yeah, and we're the only Metal Blade band I think on this uh, on, the, on this year. You're gonna give all these so. kids a run for their money, though. Seriously, we'll do our best. You know. And you do you do it good. We'll try our best. So. Awesome. Well, uh, I want to thank you guys for sitting down with us here at the Rave TV, and we look forward to seeing you tonight. So, thank you guys. Thanks, right, Alex. Thank you. See you next time on the Rave TV. <laughs>